I hope you guys stick around for the discussion in this video because I think you're gonna learn some important information about the current sandbox. But this weekend in the Trials of Osiris, I spent a lot of time farming for my summoner drops. I mean, I played well over 100 Trials matches, almost exclusively solo queuing. And many of you know how unreliable it is to farm solo because of how inconsistent the lobby balancing can be. I mean, half the time I'm getting put on a team with two people who are both double negative in terms of Trials KDs, which is no shame on them at all, but it certainly makes the solo experience a real challenge because you're often playing with people who aren't experienced in the playlist enough to know where to go and what to do. You'll get like two kills and have the third guy within an inch of his life, but then you go down and the camera zooms out and you see your two teammates are in like a random corner of the map that isn't even close to the objective. It's not close to the bodies. And then the one guy alive on the other team just chains the revives and they win the round. It means that when I'm farming for drops solo, I need a build and especially a weapon that is reliable in the current meta because almost every team I went up against this weekend was triple auto rifles and triple conditional finalities. If you don't believe me, pull up Destiny Trials Report and just look at how insanely slanted the meta is right now in Trials. But the weapon I landed on flies in the face of that meta and not for the sake of being different or being a weapon hipster, I get a lot of comments from people who are like, oh, I like how TV plays anti-meta and wins with bad guns. And while I appreciate the kind words, I am gonna level with you, it's a little secret. I didn't wanna stay in trials longer than I needed to. So when I equipped the Boudica and kept it glued to my hands the whole weekend, it's not because I'm a hipster, it's because this thing is so much better than anyone is willing to admit. And I got over 400 final blows with this thing in trials this weekend farming for summoners. So much so that I got messages from one summoner and conditional player accusing me of cheating against his team, since in his mind, there was no way a Boudica could get multiple team wipes against his meta loadout during that match. Guys, I'm using it because it's insanely good in this sandbox for some very specific reasons. And frankly, other precision frame sidearms are sick right now too, like the Swift Verdict and the Cryesthesia, but this one in particular has the right perks to succeed in Trials, it's got the right origin trait to succeed in trials, and you can focus it right now at the gunsmith, so there's no need to farm lost sectors or end game PVE activities in order to get a killer roll for PVP. So let's break it down, and I hope in the meantime, you enjoy the gameplay in the background showing how lethal this little pocket rocket can be against full-blown meta loadouts in trials. Okay, so why the Boudica? Well, let me kick things off by showing my role that I'm using in the gameplay. I have three Boudicas, all built for different purposes, but this, this is the Trials Slayer role. It has hammer forged rifling, it has ricochet rounds, moving target for faster strafe speeds and more aim assist while aiming down the sights and moving, multi-kill clip for kill chaining, Haka breach armaments to deal with the barricades and trials, and a range masterwork. All of those things together mean I have a precision frame sidearm with an insane 88 range value. 53 stability, 33 handling, 25 reload speed, 85 base aim assist, but it, it's actually 95 because I'm always moving while dueling with moving target kicking in, and a 98 recoil direction. The only thing here that you need to compensate for is the reload speed, so make sure you've got a kinetic reloader mod on your gauntlets. Now let's start with the base frame. This is a kinetic precision frame sidearm. Precision frames were always pretty good, but in a sandbox where precision is now the most important part of your primary game, these things just got a lot better. I mean, it's literally in the name. Spray and pray SMGs, lightweight sidearms, even auto rifles have really dominated in close to close mid-range dueling distance for some time. But spraying and praying isn't yielding the same results in the current sandbox. They can still shine with shotgun ammo off the table, but if you really want to be able to be the king of that dueling distance, you need something that does big precision damage in close range, has enough aim assist to make headshots up close easy to pull off, and has an exceptional base TTK. And guess what fits that bill, y'all? That's right, it's precision sidearms. And I'm a big fan of this family already. Like The Boudica took me to the top of the leaderboards in Rumble a few seasons ago. The Cryesthesia is an integral part of the of one of the most reliable hunter builds that I use, and the Swift Verdict it, it, with Killing Wind and Kill Clip has been an absolute powerhouse for my Devour Warlock for a very long time now. But 
in the new landscape of the crucible these things just got a lot more dangerous in the hands of someone who doesn't spray and pray but instead is a surgeon with sidearms and that's really how you gotta treat this weapon like it's a scalpel and less like a chainsaw most people just spam shots at targets with sidearms because the body shot TTK has always been pretty good on these weapons, but body shot damage isn't doing as much these days. I want you to look at how fast I'm killing guardians in the gameplay here, even guardians perched up on head glitches. Look at how surgical and precise this weapon can be. I mean, this is no joke. Precision frame sidearms have an optimal TTK of 0.7 seconds, which is extremely competitive. That's faster than any auto rifle can kill a guardian. And getting that optimal TTK requires three headshots and one body shot to pull off. It's a little bit of forgiveness in there. But if you were to, say, have multi-kill clip active, that 17% damage buff, that drops it to two body shots and two headshots, making it easier to achieve that optimal kill. But three headshots with multi-kill clip active will do 225 damage, which will kill most guardians outright in just half a second. That's why this weapon is such a dangerous dueler. It's more like a close quarters hand cannon in many ways, with moving target and the insane range on the sidearm teaming up to make this a really reliable peak shooting primary. I like to add knucklehead radar into the mix to track enemies, so placing shots is even easier without guessing where they are and when the enemy's gonna challenge. But let's chat about the origin trait too. I see so few people leverage Haka Breach armaments. I think Haka weapons in general are just less popular. But with this trait, I'm able to drop barricades lightning fast and deny revives and revive chaining. There are a lot of barricades in Trials. It's nice to have a reliable answer for those shield walls, which are the primary way that people get revives in Trials. Bake the shield, take out the now fully exposed Titan, and move on. The throwing knife is also a great way to get some extra big damage on a Titan the moment the wall falls. Now, if I've sold you on the Boudicca, and you want to go get one. There are some roles to look out for. It is my belief that in the first column, your best choices via landslide are moving target and threat detector. See, threat detector is going to be active a lot when you're using the Boudicca because you'll be engaging most targets within 15 meters, especially on a map like Cauldron. And since threat detector works through walls, it's going to have a ton of uptime. It's going to help offset the low reload speed on the sidearm by giving you at least 18 more reload stat as well as granting at least 25 handling, which is huge, and 15 stability. Those are massive buffs that target the weakest stat points on the Boudicca. So Threat Detector is a seriously good perk here. Moving Target is your other choice, I think, giving you faster strafe speeds and a plus 10 aim assist buff in duels. It's going to help you get even more headshots and keep your TTKs optimal in more fights. There's also the Pugilist and Swashbuckler combo on this thing, which is pretty fun, honestly, especially on a Titan with a melee build get more charges for your melee ability, and get more weapon damage when you land a melee kill. In the second column, you've got Swashbuckler, like I just noted, but for reliable dueling, I think multi-kill clip is the way to go. I think Frenzy is not the play here. Activating Frenzy on a ranged primary is pretty easy, but with a sidearm, being in combat for 12 straight seconds and being alive after that, that's a steep ask for a lot of people. And even then, it's only a 15% damage buff, which is less than the one stack of multi-kill clips, 17%. So multi-kill clip is my pick, hands down, in this column. In general, I hope the discussion and the gameplay in tandem today have convinced you that precision frame sidearms, and especially the Boudicca, are absolute banger weapon choices in the current sandbox. And I'm surprised, frankly, that, that no one else has really caught on yet. Unfortunately, Bungie hates these sidearms apparently, I don't know, because they almost never add new ones to the game, and they consistently phase out the ones that we do have, like the Swift Verdict, which just got removed from the Prophecy Dungeon and replaced with a second pulse rifle in the dungeon. But the Boudicca is still here. And I highly recommend you go get a good one while the option still exists. Thanks so much for watching the video today. And thank you all for all the support on the channel lately. We picked up nearly a thousand new subs in the last couple of weeks. And that has been such a massive encouragement to me. And I just want to thank you for that. We're getting so close to 300,000 subs on YouTube now. And that just blows me away. If you enjoyed the video today, please feel free to leave a like on it. As that's the best free way to support my content here on YouTube. Be warm and well fed, my friends. And I hope to catch you in the crucible.
Guardian, 